What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I wanna get right into it today and talk about an idea that has come up quite a bit recently as I've started to really dig in and do research around how fitness businesses market and in particular, how fitness franchises market their business. And then in talking to a lot of potential franchisors who are interested in opening their own metabolic location. By the way, just sold our first franchise, boom. If you want more information on how to own your own metabolic, I'll have link in the description below. The idea that I keep running into is that if someone chooses metabolic, then they're not choosing another fitness business. And this is the concept, uh, Stephen Covey referred to it as a win-lose situation. In game theory, it's referred to as a zero-sum game, meaning that if you win, I lose. And if I win, then you lose. That the system has to be equal in that if one part gains, that gain has to come from somewhere. And in most cases, that loss comes from the competition. I do not believe fitness is a zero sum game. I think this is an idea that is corrupting our industry. And I think anyone operating from a mindset that the fitness industry is a zero sum game is missing the point and is ultimately gonna create stress and scarcity around their business in places where it doesn't need to exist. Gambling on football is a zero sum game. If the team I pick doesn't win, then I have to pay my bookie. Baseball is a zero sum game. It can't end in a tie. One team has to leave the field with a win and one team has to leave the field with a loss. But in business, and in particular the fitness industry, this principle does not apply. Though we don't have exact numbers on it, if I had to make an educated guess, I'd say somewhere around 20 to 25% of our more than 3,000 metabolic clients have some other form of fitness membership, whether it's uh, Orange Theory, um, a big box gym, or just kind of a standard three sets of 10 gym. Uh, maybe they're part of a running club or a biking club. Maybe they do Tough Mudders. Maybe they have a, a yoga membership. As people become more in tune with their body and develop a greater understanding for how their body responds to certain stresses, in order to feel better and produce results, they're going to mix and match memberships and training styles in a way that suits them. Just because someone's a member of Orange Theory doesn't mean that they'll never be a member of Metabolic as well. And in fact, the two complement each other very well. And this is actually an example that I give to any of the franchisors who ask us, well, Orange Theory seems to have taken over my city and is doing very well here. How are you guys going to compete against them? And the answer is we don't compete against Orange Theory at all. We're a completely different training philosophy. And in fact, if someone's willing to pay for an Orange Theory, it's very possible that they're willing to add a metabolic membership as well. Or maybe an even better example is a Planet Fitness or an Anytime Fitness. These types of gyms where the membership is 10, 15, 20 dollars a month and you're going in and doing exercises on your own. Well, an individualized community-based training program based around a strength cardio mix like Metabolic could be an amazing complement to that three sets of 10 gym, like Anytime or Planet Fitness. And in fact, by working together and, and forming more collaborations and more intertwining of the various workout philosophies and gym franchises and, and independently owned gyms, ultimately we as an industry can help grow the pool of people getting fit, finding results, being happier, healthier, living longer and more fruitful, meaningful lives, which is the goal of the fitness industry to begin with. We can grow that together. But if you operate from a scarcity mindset, if you operate with the idea that somehow if they choose you, they're not choosing me, then what you're going to do is set yourself up for failure by making short-term decisions, by positioning yourself in ways that are combative and negative against your competition. And ultimately, that's not the community that at least we at Metabolic are trying to build. So my advice to you, collaborate, collaborate work with other fitness brands, work with individual owners, work with personal trainers, work with fitfluencers, work with big brand franchises, work with different training philosophies, mash them up, find ways to help open people's eyes to how to get the results they need. And in many cases, that might be the, the intermingling of multiple disciplines. Because the fitness industry is not a zero sum game. And I hope that you'll operate with abundance because when you do that, that's how you win the long game. That's how you build trust 
and respect, and that's how all of us help more people get fit, which should always be our goal. You agree with me? You disagree with me? What am I missing here? What haven't I thought out about this idea? Leave it in the comments below. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to get more great content every single week. I'm producing at least two videos a week, and I would love for you to be part of it. I love you for watching this video. I'm out of here. Peace.